Hello, you heathen bastards. Welcome to the live stream. Hello, Alex, other Alex, uh, Jeremy Mord, uh, Darth Hamos, Dat Boy Aureli, Zero Sparky, uh, Vulpix Styles, Destin Pro, and everybody else who be there and or lurking. I do not feel like tabbing out the scroll back to see your name if you were uh, typing in the chat previously, but hello to you as well. How's it going? Let's have a look at the journal. Welcome back to Star Wars, by the way. I just woke up. All right, Bastila. Screw that, bitch. Uh, because of the bond between you and Bastila, she is extremely interested in you learning more about your character. However, you get the sense that there is something she isn't telling you. Sandra Matale feud. Blah, 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 blah. Calf Candorous missing companion. Mandalorian Raiders. The Ethan Hawk. We don't have a main quest right now, then? I guess we don't? I do not know. Let's leave, everyone. Let's leave this hellhole. So anyway, last time we came in here and we found out some stuff about uh, Malik and Fred. I forget the other name, guy, other guy's name. Like Darth Malik and Revan? Is it Revan? I think it was Revan. Maybe it was Revan. I don't know. But anyway, we do have a couple more quests to do here on this planet, which is, I think, called Dantooine. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's not Tatooine, I don't think. I think it's Dantooine. Bloody hell, these things are fucking everywhere. Ah, so you can use the number keys. Sweet. Okay, just just kill it, people. Just kill it. Shouldn't be that bloody hard. There you go. Get the hell out of here, you bastard. Right, once again, what do we like on medic? That's right, I bought like 58 shitty medic packs. Well, actually, I think I bought 60. Jabby jabby. You know, for the longest time when I was a kid, I thought Darth Vader was called Dark Vader. Let's throw that one out there. Darth Revan, the inspiration of Darth Bane's rule of two. Ah, for a second I was like, what the shit's he talking about with the rule of two? And then I remembered all the whole, you know, like, one master, one apprentice, all that, that, that nonsense. That goddamn nonsense. Uh, leave me alone. I don't want to find you. Okay, so, let's have a look at the journal. One sec, one sec. Uh, the, which one is it? You've met Elise. So, her companion is missing and it's a droid of, like, her dead husband or something. Yeah. And she wishes you to find it. He was apparently kidnapped from her home, and she has been searching for him ever since. That's all we know, that he's gone missing from her home. Well, okay. I'm guessing he's out in the field somewhere. It's just going to be a droid walking around going, Beep, boop, boop, boop. Hello. Are you my master? And then he's going to be all sad and shit. Dantooine, you've had some of the Mandalorian Raiders playing Dantooine and slain them. They did not seem as organized or as powerful as you had been led to believe. Perhaps you have not yet met their most powerful members. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. So yeah, it's just, let's just go out in the bloody field and see what we can find. I don't, I don't know if I can know. I'm lost as always. Has Jason been to the cave yet? Um, Probably not. Yeah, what cave? I don't remember finding a cave. I went in like a couple of ruins. Over here, there were like dudes. I think we murdered them. Let me have a look at the map. Does this map help me at all? Oh, this is the Matali Estate. So maybe we can go over there now and possibly enter now that we can... Now that we have a quest for it, maybe we can do something about the feud. Maybe we'll be like, look, I'm on a mission, let me in, you droid bastard. You never know, maybe that's the droid that's gone missing and he just thinks he's a guard. He's Maybe he's delirious. I doubt it, though. It's probably a completely different droid. But who knows, man? Who knows? Yeah, I also solved a murder mystery. It was fun. Hello, Matale Droid, if that is your real name. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I ain't trespassing you, bitch. I come on behalf of the Jedi Council. I wish to speak to Alan Matale. You have come from the Jedi Council. Yeah. Master Matale wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. Hooray! I like how awkwardly they walk around like, My <laughs> just droid bump into each other. You are here on behalf of the council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrils as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. How notorious. So he said, don't spoil anything, but has Jason met a certain someone in the Dantooine Hills? Was this person wielding two lightsabers that happened to be red and they are now dead? Because if so, yes. By the way... By the way, I got a few comments on the last video for, you know, the previous stream when it went up on YouTube. Apparently, 
if you talk, I forget her name, but you know the chick that we were sent to like go either talk out of being evil or, you know, murder her? We chose to murder her. Apparently, if you talk her out of being evil, she can become a uh, companion. A, I didn't know that, and B, I don't really care, to be honest. Like, to me, I think half the fun of a game like this is just seeing what people do differently. So, yeah. She dead as hell, but I have no regrets, you know? I mean, do you really want to watch someone play Star Wars and do the exact same things and make the exact same choices that you did when you played the game? Probably not, right? So, you didn't kill her? Cool. I killed her. It's different. Anyway, why are you so certain the Sandals are to blame? Any information you might have would be helpful. You can't... Okay, yeah. Why do you think they're to blame? Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandril droids trespassing on my land. Interesting. One of those droids wouldn't happen to be not a Sandral droid, would it? It wouldn't happen to be, like, a droid of someone's dead husband, perhaps? Wouldn't happen to be that, would it? Uh, what happened to the droids? My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. Uh. I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. I like the word it was nefarious. Shortly after this incident, that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Recognize this fella's voice, by the way. I feel like he's from an anime. I don't know which one, though. I haven't seen many. I shall go and speak to Nurik Sandral. You're jumping to conclusions. We're gonna, where, where are the Sandrals? That's a good question. Follow their stink south oh. of here, and you shall find them. I demand action on this matter. To Jedi. south, thank Why you. Why does the council insist on you stalling? Dick. The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandrals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. What donation? Mate, 2,000, you have a deal. 2,000? Your greed is outstripped only by your utter lack of any sense of proportion, Jedi. 2,000. Even if you would pay such a fee, what could you possibly need so many credits for? For that price, Cozen I could purchase enough boost. droids to destroy the entire Central Estate. 2,000 is out of the question. Nevertheless, 1. my 5. offer still stands. 1,000 credits for Shen's safe return. 1.3. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. 1,200. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. Until you find Shen, 1,100. Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. How about 1,050? Like, just, just give me something here. All right, dark side points gained. Hooray. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, Can I go in here? I wonder. Let's have a look. No. Metali pass required, required to require. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> I might have fucked up that sentence. So just roll with it. Uh, you have spoken to Ahlan Metali, and he is very adamant about his belief that the Sandrils... To the south are being are behind the disappearance of his son Shen. I have just woke up. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, map. Ah. It's loud and scary. Notorious NZK. Thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch. Ah, uh, not Twitch Primes. Thank you so much for subscribing regularly. Thank you. You are very kind. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Ten thousand and fifty, my final offer. Apparently, we haven't actually been to the south, so that's interesting. Let's go to the south and look everyone, a flying fucking stingray. Isn't that terrifying? The answer to that question is yes, Jason. Yes, that is terrifying. Because one of those fuckers speared Steve Irwin through the chest and murdered him. Those ones can fly. That is ten times scarier. Apparently there's like no way to go south. Wait, no, hang on. There has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah over here. Um, we're a goddamn moron. No, look, it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. What? 
What the hell? You said this is south, man? Yeah, it is, because look at that. We have a compass. Okay. There has to be an exit down here somewhere. It's obviously not directly south. It's probably like southeast. I mean, I wish you'd. This is east! Man's a bloody liar. Maybe we can, like, go through here and then loop around to the south or something? Ah! Uh, wait, no, yeah, no, I don't get it. I, I guess it's just the south exit over here, but I say this is southeast. I think he's I think he's stretching the truth a little bit. There are two paths running north and south. Yeah. I mean... Like, whoa! Jesus Christ, Bachelor, you freaked me out, lady. You're fine on your own, I'm leaving. Oh, that's right, I just realized I can't actually do that, because it will be like, you have to gather your party. Me, 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 me. Unlimited power! Do it, do it, zap it. Yeah! Zappy, zappy. Swing, swing. Alright, no, 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 no. We do not need to engage. Leave them alone. What are you doing? Alright. Make a save. Go this way. Don't fight them. It's just too many bloody enemies around here. Grove. Grove Street. Oh, Emperor Pigeon. Oh, oh. oh okay. Zap. Zap. Simpsons reference. You're welcome. Nah, you ain't going anywhere, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you can't fuck with me if you want to. This is expensive. This is rad fun. This is burn shoe. Someone told me, by the way, the other day that I was getting all the lyrics wrong to that. First of all, knowing all the lyrics to Bodak Yellow isn't something on my agenda, you know, that's not like a mark of pride, it would be more like a mark of shame. But also, I know for a fact those lyrics are correct. That's the only lyrics I know to Bodak Yellow. So, point me. Anyway, uh, so the estate's probably around here, so what is this person? Yeah, that's right, we gotta go through that. Whoa, what happened there? What happened? I've completely spun around. What did I pre- Oh! Ooh, ooh. Oh, it like locks on. Oh, that's what it's doing. So it's- Ah! Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now I understand. Is there a backpack just in there? I'm guessing- Oh, I think this was where we murdered a bunch of dudes. Yeah, 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 it totally was. Yeah, I remember. Good times. You know what? Jabby jabby. Okay. Let's go! Right now, surely you live over here. Yes. Sandra Grounds, and it's the first time I've been here. Fantastic. What are you wearing? I can't tell if that's like skin color under there. I think it is, right? Like, it almost looks like she's almost completely naked, but no, I think that's just skin color clothing she's wearing. But she was a dirty, dirty girl for a minute. It looks a bit like the Slave Lair outfit, like if that was, you know, skin as opposed to skin color. Look, I'm just saying, we all like the Slave Lair outfits. <laughs> She's a very attractive lady. Zappy Zappy. Who the... Oh, it's a droid. Ah! Are you the missing dude? Look at his... Look at his alarms. Alright, well, I guess I'll be back for you in a second, so don't go... Don't go chasing waterfalls and don't leave. Hey, he's the only one around here. Oh, God, I need to sneeze. You know when you need to sneeze, but it's not going to work? Like, I, I know I'm not going to, but I need to. No. What the hell happened to you, lady? Jesus, titty fucking Christ. How did you die? Uh, I'm dying too. This is bad. Please use the medic pack. Thank you. Right now, kill this thing. Slashy, slashy. I don't know how she died so fast. Once I knew she had, like, pretty much full health. You suck, lady. You suck. Hello, C842. I'm gonna call you Kate. Hello, Kate. Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am C842, a personal assistant droid. I bet you are. Why were Cath Hounds attacking you? Who knows? They are beasts and have been very aggressive of late. I am sorry if I seem a bit abrupt, but I must be moving along. I am rather in a hurry. I am a guardian. No, I don't know how to do my Jedi jump. Uh, where are you going? Not so much as where I am going to, but where I am going away from. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She, she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. Doesn't sound healthy. 
So, you might say, <clears throat> this is the droid we're looking for. Uh, is she crazy all the time, but she wants you back, baby? She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. Interesting. Uh, would I like to know how to use it? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, you sort them out. What are you, suicidal or something? You want to get away that badly? What do you mean you sort them out? I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. Oh, you, you were trying to kill yourself. People, please, will you destroy me? Fuck yes, I will. Uh, if I don't destroy you and tell her why you did it, no, you should go back to her. I'll destroy you and tell her you're still out there. I'm going to do it and tell her why you did it. Thank you, kind sir. You have my eternal gratitude. Oh, was that the good choice? Oh, damn it. Well, it's lightning him. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Does he have anything? You got, you got anything, buddy? He's got anything. Is it bad that of all the people we've like murdered in the game so far, that's the one I feel the worst about? I feel a little bit bad about murdering that droid. And yet, all the, you know, quote unquote, humans or aliens, not a, not a feeling in my soul. Him though, feel a little bit bad about that. He seemed like a nice fella and then I just zapped him and now he's gone. Well, whatever. Uh, so... I can't help but feel I may have picked the good choice. Because I figured telling her was going to be like, he was going to be like, no, don't tell her that. But then again, I guess the whole point was that he wanted her to know that it was unhealthy for her. I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, aren't we in... Aren't we? Yeah, we're in the central grounds. We might as well try and hit this up whilst we're here. Exactly. It was shocking. Uh, let's use the medic packs now. Bloody inventory. God, it did... Oh, wait. Don't we have a drain ability now? How do I use that? I think I, I, think I unlocked it, didn't I? Shit, I don't remember how to use it. All right, hang on. Let me catch up with the chat. Use your Vader Saber. Wait, what? Am I not doing that? Okay, so when you target an enemy, do a standard attack with a mouse. This is just a single click on the enemy. Your character should leap across the map to your target. This can lead to some ridiculous platforming. Ah, don't leave the map yet. There is a cave you want to explore. Okay, don't worry. Uh, I got to heal up first, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what are you at? You, oof, oof. You're in rough shape, lady. Again, I still do not know how you died quite so bloody quickly. I need to remember to put on the, um... The, oh, I guess your health's kind of low, isn't it? 81, yeah, that's not great. I need to remember to put on the... The shields when we get in combat, that would also be a good idea. Some people did say that when we get in combat, I should be giving them, like, basic yes. commands and stuff like that. It seems like a lot of clicking. I'll get my ass with you. It seems like a lot of clicking. Uh... Okay, did a basic attack. Let's try it. He didn't jump over shit. Well, that sucks. A lot of dudes here. Yeah, I was thinking the electricity was probably going to work out quite well. Man, they are. They are quite weak. I guess the Mandalorian's not so much. And you are not so much. Extremely limited power. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Oh, that was cool. You like clash swords. Good luck, buddy. You ain't got no goddamn chance. Get ganked, son. Oh, he brought out where? Oh, oh. He's, he's putting up the fire. I gotta give it to him. Suck it. Alright, who are? There you go. Squeezy, squeezy. Mandalorian data pad. I don't know if we need that. <laughs> Extremely limited power. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Alright, med pack. Nah. Let's see. Ooh, metal case. Turn one if I do. Heck it. A bit for more than that. A foot locker with. Ooh, 50 credits. Why are they green? Why are credits blue? Is it credits on this planet are green? I don't know. Average frag mine, average flash mine, and average plasma mine. Pfft. Average. Burm. Drain is a force ability that can only be used in combat, just like force lightning. When you enter combat, this is a second slot under the enemy's name. As I mentioned in the past, you can middle mouse wheel, scroll through. Okay, alright, thank you. I'll test it next time. Cryobang grenade, adrenaline amplifier. I don't know what a cryobang grenade is. Mm, eh, you know what? I think I care. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, it's cold. Of course, cryo. Makes sense. 
So it paralyzes them for six seconds. A long range, four meters. Uh, I don't know what DC 15 for half damage. The guy, I don't know what half of that means, but sure. Challenge handy. Anyway, we're in the place where uh, the Sandra Estate is, so let's go chat with them when we find them eventually and be like, yo, can you two just kiss and make up? Because this is getting a little ridiculous. Alright, save. You said it was like under the. Sa oh, there it is. There it is. You should probably try that. So. Please flip. He's not flipping. Makes you so sad. Drain that life. Yeah, drain more of the life. Yeah. Yes. So, this blue stuff, clearly my mana, right? Or whatever you would call it in Star Wars. How does Juan get mana back? Oh, wait, does this keep healing me? Wait, what? That is interesting. Apparently, oh, this this one's albino. Yeah, you know, I just realized that. That's why I was taking friggin' forever to kill. Well, that's bad. Concuss it. Concuss it. Cannot win. Why won't you concuss it? Hurry up, Chewy. Yes. No, Chewy, Jason. No, I don't care. Look it. Beautiful. Proud of you. I, st I stun myself on the ground, but I'm on cut. Whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to question it. Force points regen over time. Guardians get them very slowly to make the consulars. You can get more faster regen by increasing your wisdom attribute. All right. Thank you. That's very handy. Well, sure. that, was, that was rough, but I guess, you know, we kind of survived. Do you want... Okay. Here's another question I have. What was that? What was that? Want to wear a mask? Hang on. I think it's, you know, we'll roll with that. It looks cool. Um, I, I keep forgetting to use the bloody shields. The other question I had was, when someone gets down in combat, do they still get EXP, or is it only the conscious people that get EXP? I feel like that would be, that would be helpful to know. There's a free heal system if you want to know about it. Yes. Yes, I do. I'm guessing this is like abusing the system somehow. Tell me. I, I will happily abuse the system. I care not for its flippantry. I like the music in this area. It's cool music. Alright. I see no droid. Why? No one appears to be guarding this. I'm guessing we can't go in, though. No. Some family members are not permitted entrance. Who do I talk to, then? Oh, here we go. Hello. Listen, why'd you steal Darth Malgus's mask? I don't know. I have no idea where I got it. I mean, obviously I found it at some point, probably fairly recently, but... Because I don't remember having it that long ago. What does it actually do for me? I should probably I check, like, the sure. stats, right? That would, that would probably be a good idea. Um, immunity to poison. Restricted, not usable by Wookiees. The standard issue gear for Republic forces and most professional soldiers protect against a variety of gas-based attacks. Yeah, I don't know where I got that. That's cool. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I ain't... Trespassing, okay? Chill out. Come on behalf of the Jedi Council, the bitch. Council. If you are here because of Shen Matale's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matale witch hunt. Don't be really. Go to your map and click Return to the Ethan Hawk. You will go through a loading screen, but when you load there, you will regain all health. Or health. Then go back to your map and click return. This will put you and your party back to where you just were. <gasps> oh my god. That's a game changer. I'm not in league with the Metales, but I must speak to Nurek. Nurek left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Thanks, buddy. Go to the main hall. Nurek will meet with you there. Hooray, we've actually got permission to enter. God damn. Open sesame. The old double door trick, eh? Get yourself a hood, stiff I slot, hood. Yeah, man. My protocol droid, that you wish to speak to me. I'm gonna ask you about the disappearance of Shen Matale. I'm here on behalf of the Jedi Council. I'm investigating. Let's. What are the differences between these options? Really, one of them is me saying that I'm with the Jedi Council, and the other one's not. 
I should probably say that I am, because surely he's going to know that anyway, and then he might get pissed off, because he might be like, Oh, I see you're trying to cover up the fact that you're with the council, even though my droid told me you're with the council. I don't know. So, let's go with number two. I'm here on behalf of the council. Where's Shen Batali? I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. Well, that didn't go well. Who that? You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Let me guess, you're Julia. Who are you? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. Does that have anything to do with what happened to Shen? My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. Well, I don't care who loves who. I, I gotta be honest. I'm a bloody Sith of training, all right? Love is for the weak. Except I think Sith are allowed to love compared to Jedi's, which aren't, which is kind of strange. Anyway, I only want to find Shen. Judge him, or has your father done that? Yeah, what's, what's he done? What's he done? Tell Daddy. You must understand that Father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him. But there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Quit stalling and get to the point. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Why aren't you telling me all this? Like I said, I'm guessing you're Juliet to the Romeo. Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. I feel like I'm doing the good guy thing here. Maybe when we get there, we can like murder him in the cell or something. Because right now, this feels like I'm being a good guy. What's the problem between your families? Alan Matale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Hurry, Anakin, you are my only hope. Uh, so yeah, apparently Sith do not allow love either. Okay, good. I was I was on the right track with that then. In that case, I stick to what I said. Love is for the weak. Love is for the weak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, <laughs> what is, is this Jordan doing the robot? Like seriously, look at him. I actually think he's doing the Domo Arigato Mr. Roboto dance. It's incredible. Domo Arigato Mr. Roboto. Alright, so we're gonna go to the the prison. I don't know where don't know where that is. I'm guessing since there's a one door in this place. Probably that one door, so let's just what's the what's the droid gonna do about this? Well what the hell do I do then? Hang on. Wait is is it outside? Maybe it's outside. Let's see what the droid says. Nurek has nothing more to say to you. He left strict instructions he was not to be disturbed under any circumstances. In fact, a lot of quests in this game don't give you a good or evil option until the very end where you would go to turn in the quest. Gotcha. I'm getting inside, and there's nothing you can do that will stop me. I'm not programmed for battle. 
but I will not open the gates except for those on official family business. Even if you destroy me, you will not be able to get in. And tomorrow another droid will be programmed to take over my duties. So I just can't attack you. Alright, so it has to be outside then. The, the, the cell has to be outside. Because literally there's one other exit in there and it doesn't let me through it. So let's look at the journal. Uh, you have spoken to Nurek Sandril and his daughter... Rahasia. I forget how she said it. Nurek denies any involvement in Shin's disappearance, but... Dave tells another story. She says that her father has captured Shin because he believes that Alan has his own son, Cassus. Shin is being held in the Sandro estate. Okay, so he is in this state. And Rahasia has given you a key to the rear... Oh, the rear entrance! That's right, we were there. I remember, I remember. Okay, this makes sense now. This makes all of the sense. Um... Wookie Buddy and friggin' voice actress in every damn game name escapes me right now. Uh, uh, both very low health. So let's try this tactic here. Return to the Ethan Hawk. I did just save it. Lovely. So this should heal us. Fantastic. And then click on the map. Transit back, I guess. Do you wish to transit back to your... Yes. Yeah. Bastila. Yeah, I was trying to think. I know, I know it's Bastila. I was trying to think of the the voice actress's name. You know, like it's completely escaping me right now. But she's in every Jennifer Hale. There you go. Jennifer Hale is low in health. Is what I was gonna say. She's not Bastila to me. She's Jennifer Hale. What the hell is going on here? You're a damn. I was gonna insult him before I killed him, but you just you went to town on him. All right. Gonna call him a bastard. Um. I yes. think Wookie's good at disabling shit. Do you disable this mine? Don't you? No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Pick it up. There you go. Recover the mine. Sure. I'm gonna move me in the meantime, in case you blow me what up. What can I do? Yo, oh. Pick up the fucking mine, man! Jesus! Oh, your skills too low. Oh, pick it up then. What it, what it, just, just get rid of the mine somehow, man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, he yes. did it, finally. Alright, so it looks like we can break down... Wait, hang on, we can go in there. This one... Yeah, this one can be... Let's break it down. Break it down. Banana. 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 Ba -na 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 -na. Yeah, she went all lightsaber on his ass. I was literally in the middle of insulting him. I was like, you're a... And then she killed him. Alright, just spoil my fun. Advanced mini pack, that seems very handy. Dude, I can't tell you how helpful it is knowing that we can just heal with Ethan Hawk now. God, that's helpful. Whoa, hello! Bam, 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 bam. Oh, look at those deflections, bitch! Zappy, zappy. Suck it. Suck it. Get away, Wookie. You're blocking me in. That was a war droid. That was a pathetic war droid. All right, see so we can do this compute. Wait a minute. Can we loot this? Yes, we can. Booty. I got was parts. Well, all right. Can't win them all, I guess. Could slice the computer. Yeah, we'll do it. New North Hallway. The corruptor patrol droid targeting program. System override. View storage room. Download error schematics. Yeah, we don't have enough spikes. Can you buy computer spikes? Just a suggestion. Mines are somewhat useless in this game. It's here for selling. To get the most use of them, yes. you have to lure enemies to them, which with the AI pathing will always work. And damage they do to bosses isn't great. Like if you're in combat, stopping to place a mine is kind of what a bad idea. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. That's partly why I haven't even tried to use one. The mines in most games are just a giant. It's like the same thing in Fallout. Like you get mines in Fallout, but I very rarely use them. Like they can be useful, you know, if you see like a death claw or something charging at you from a long way away, and you have a decent mine, you can maybe like cripple its leg or something. But generally, I mean, Fallout's a game where most enemies have guns, right? So generally, you're not going to get the opportunity because usually they're just standing at, in a distance, in the distance rather, or at a distance, shooting the crap out of you. Ooh, twenty-five credits, don't mind if I do. So where are you, Shen? God damn you. Can I, can I get rid of this on my own? I'm just gonna blow up in my face. Holy crap, we're fine. Surprises me. Smashy, smashy. Oh my god. There you go. Whoa, hey, we found him with the greatest rescuer of all time. Hello, Shen. Who are you? What do you want with me? 
Are you working for my father? Yeah, yeah, I'm working for, with your father. That's why I just literally smashed down the door that is keeping you here. You absolute bloody imbecile. Anyone tell you that you ask too many questions, now sit down and shut up. As you wish. I have no quarrel with you. Is that the end of our conversation? Who are you? What do you want oh, I guess. with me? Alright, fair enough. I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. I'll protect you, Shen. Let's go. Look at my eyes. You can clearly trust me. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter. Oh, uh, shut up, Romeo. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. You don't come with me? I'll drag you out. If you do that, I'll scream my head off and alert all the guards in the house. The only chance you have is to talk Rahasia into leaving. If you can scream, convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Yeah, this is definitely Romeo and Juliet. Well, you know, with a bit of a twist. Uh, why do your families hate each other so much? My father thinks the Sandrals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal what he has earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. I think I hate the name Rahasia. I think I hate it. Like, I think I hate it. All right, can we secure your room? Yes. Oh, hey, how's it going? Jesus, man. Bastard, you just shoot me the second I open the fucking door. Don't even, like, stop to ask questions, but, oh, wait a minute, who are you? No, just bang. Dickhead. All right, what do we got? Computer spike. Sweet, thanks. Appreciate it. And two repair kits. Couldn't you just put that in one box? These are the same problem I have in a lot of games. It's like, there were two items, one in each box. You could have just had one box with two items in it. Would have been half as much clicking for me. Hello, gentlemen. Stop! Concussion grenade? Alright. Makes sense now. I had the concussion grenade highlighted. I thought the droid's name was concussion grenade. I was very confused. Well, that's a weird name. Second. What do we get? One thing. Response package. Let me guess. There's like one thing in here as well. Light scan visor and two frag grenades. Still was three things. Could could have been put in a box. Just saying. I just sort of hate of mine whenever games do that shit. Like we're gonna make you spend way longer clicking things than you need to because because we feel like it. Where the hell are we? I'm so lost. You suck. You are the worst century bar of all time. Zring. Really? Really? Oh, I've already been. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Okay, no, no, people, move. People, people, please. I didn't realize I could even go through this door. Wait a minute. Gimme, gimme. Droid medium plating type. What is all this for? Is that for upgrading, like, my droid? Because, you know, we have one as, like, a companion. I'm guessing that's what that's for, but I don't know. It seems like an awful lot of work. And, uh. Not a fan of work. There you go. Alright. Bunch of crap. I'll take it. Move, bastard. Why? Why are you? Why? Why? God damn you, why? Alright, it looks like we've pretty much gone everywhere in here. Except here, apparently. Alright. I like the way this one's just slumped over. Jeez. You cannot. Ah! Okay, maybe we can, like, activate him or something. Actually, yeah, we probably can hack him with the computer. Yeah, he's 40, okay. Uh, a bit late to be reactivating him, considering we've basically killed everyone in the damn building. Prison key. Prison key? Wait, what? Oh, I guess that's just so we don't have to bash down the door? But, we... Oh, Rahesh is here? What? Don't waste the repair spikes. Okay. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen? What yet? are you doing here? Uh, 
but he won't leave without you. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk Dude, I've it. killed like everything in the Shen building. I'd rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. That was awkward. Yeah, I don't know what Bastler's doing. Alright, well, what does she have in her room? Can we take her underwear? No. Damn it. If this was Final Fantasy VII, we'd be able to take her underwear. And she'd be like, Cloud! That's not what happened. You don't know that. You weren't there. Gimme, gimme. Oh, alright. Don't gimme, gimme then. I guess we've yeah, we've been here as well. Uh, is this the... Wait, how do... I, where the fuck am I? How do I leave? What is this? No, it's not even a door. It's a fake door. Move, Bastler. Oh, okay, so that is the entrance. Right. Right, so therefore, the rear entrance is here. I'm a genius. Fantastic. Alright, oh god damn it, I just realized i got to go get him, haven't I? She's like, I'll meet you outside. I probably have to tell him now. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I hate people. I hate people so much. Let me guess, they've all respawned now. You know how pissed I'd be if all those droids respawned? Luckily, it doesn't seem like they have. Okay, so where is... Oh, there you are. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yes. Let's go. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. No, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Wouldn't want to keep Rahasia Shen, waiting, would we? you're safe. Then Rahasia. Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get I'm this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, I'm for able. all that you have done for us. Look at me. Do I really look kind of you? Shen's father promised me a reward. What? You, you're just doing this for the reward? Yes. How could you? I thought you... You thought what? That I cared? I don't even care about the Wookiee and Bastila. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandro! Nurik! Dave! Alan. I knew this was all your doing! knew you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get Donkey. revenge for your transgressions. <laughs> Why don't you just shoot each other and get it over with? No, father, don't do this. Do it. We don't always need to be fighting like this. It's gone too far for that, Rahasia. Alan has crossed the line one too many times. Ha! For what you've done to me and my family, I will see you dead and rotting in the ground. The only way either of you will end this is with blood. Do it. Do it now. Are you mad? They will slaughter each other. No. That's don't. the idea, Bastila. This, this Pay attention. Gone horribly wrong somewhere, Alan. What can we be thinking? How could we have let this go this far? We are at each other's throats now, fighting uh. over our children's lives when they are old enough to live their own. He is my son. How can he disrespect my wishes like this? You know, Nurik, Alan actually do, did kill Cassius. Oh, Cassius, not Cassius. I, th I keep thinking of Cassius Clay, which is Muhammad Ali's name, in case you didn't know before he changed it, though I'm sure 99.99% .99 of you did know that. Uh, yeah, he did it. Kill him. <laughs> what? It worked. No, no! I never did anything to your son! Yes, he did! I, He's lying! I knew you were lying, you dog! I just think I thought it might not have been you, so I'll take your son from you! Yes! Father, no! Kill Don't him! Die! Ba, 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 the fucking aiming. <laughs> Everyone's a stormtrooper in this game. <laughs> Kill them. Kill them all. Die. Die. Kill them. Oh, that was a better shot. God damn. He even no. put a second one in there for no reason. I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> The master has been injured. Terminate all opposition. <laughs> Destroy the invaders. <laughs> I'm sorry. The aiming was too funny. Holy crap. Okay. I want to do my force jump, man. Like, I don't know how to do it. I think it'd be sad. Hang on. Uh, um, oh, whatever. Let's do the lightning. Fuck it. 
dark side. <laughs> oh, I did it! I'm the greatest! Can I full shove this bad boy? Hell yeah, I can! Alright, that was cool. <laughs> And now, now it's like a Shakespeare play. Yep, everyone's dead as hell. Oh, that was... That was glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, that was funny. Alright, I need to save. Hang on. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so we did that. And we murdered the droid for that lady. Uh, so, you know, going pretty well. I'm gonna actually teleport back to the Ethan Hall, because I think that's just gonna be quicker to where we want to hand in the quest. So let's just, let's just do that. That way we don't have to run all the way back. Genius. Hello, Kaiser. How's it going, man? Ooh. Oh, I enjoyed that. Alright, how do I leave this hell hollow again? I don't really remember. Uh... I think it's that way. So I have to go, like, this way and then right. Oh, god. I got, like, a fan blowing in the background, and, like, it keeps catching me in the corner of the eye, and it's, like, making my eye water. Ugh. Oh. Don't leave the map yet. Damn it! I just left the map. Oh, yeah, that's right. You said there was a... Well, I guess we can return, can't we? So, we'll return in a moment. Though, that might make things respawn, which would kind of suck. But, it's too late now, I guess. Should level up, shouldn't I? Yeah, don't worry. I'll go back in a second. Uh, Wait, why am I going out here? Oh, yeah, that's right, because we want to hand in the quest. At least, I'm assuming we have to hand in the quest. You know, for the woman that's like, Oh, my droid of my husband, blah, blah, blah. Doing well working on the database thing. I wish you luck, my man. I wish you luck. Bad beauty, how's it going, my dear? Look at that creepy flying stingray. Stingray! Stingray! Alright, so I'm gonna level up. What should I get, though? Because, hang on, level up. Skills. Uh, we wanna get persuasion, yes. Uh, so what, what should I get for feats? Uh, so we already have... Two weapon fighting, apparently. I guess we could probably get like another level in drain life or whatever it was. Can we not? Why do I not see it? I'm confused. Is that under a different skill tree or something? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Game confuses me. Uh. Blaster pistol, blaster rifle, blah blah blah, heavy weapon, lightsaber. Do I want to get like the next level in lightsaber or something? Maybe. Force is under a different menu. Right, okay. Hang on a minute. Oh, is it under powers? Okay. Well, anyway, um, should we get lightsaber? Two weapon fighting is best for two lightsabers. Okay. Get two weapon fighting. Gotcha. Improve two weapon fighting. Does this mean now we can probably dual wield somewhat appropriately? Hello, by the way, Warmonger. Uh, let's have a look. There's the electric thingy. Can't get that yet. We need to be level 18. I don't actually know what level we are. Uh, so what's this? Death Fjord. Okay, so this is Drain Life. So there's not just another level of it, it's just a different power entirely. Ah. Force Suppression. Ability will cancel the first and second tier force powers active on the target. Hmm. Further points in two weapon fighting will give you better damage with two lightsabers or a double bladed. Ah, okay, thank you. What's this? Oh, that's Force Suppression, what we just looked at. So... Throw lightsaber. Hmm. I don't necessarily know that we would want to get that. Or maybe we would. Throw a lightsaber allows a... Oh, I'm guessing it boomerangs, right? Finding it with a force. Once a lightsaber is thrown, it will automatically return. Okay, yeah. Good. I thought, I thought it was just like you chuck it and it's gone. But no, it comes back. That seems kind of cool then. I kind of like the idea of boomeranging my lightsaber. Is that like a light side or whatever? It's universal. Yeah, okay, so this skull has to be dark side. So let's look at the dark side one specifically. How it causes fear in a single creature such that they cower in fear of the attack of the attacking Jedi for six seconds. A successful will save at a DC of pl five plus the attacking character's level plus the attacking character. What? English! Jesus Christ! Anyway, uh, dark side. This power clouds the mind, making the target's actions unusually sluggish. Hmm. Does anyone have four speed do it? Four speed? Force speed. Burst of speed, that one? Is that the one you're talking about? Has to be that. Let me let me double check though. Uh, force speed will not only make movement faster, but it also give you a bonus to fights. This power allows the Jedi to move more swiftly. 
or move very swiftly, pressing his or her body to the physical limits. For the duration of this effect, 36 seconds, movement speed is doubled and two defense is gained. Gonna get that then. Burst of speed. Sure. Except, fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the tips and everything. My droid is still missing. No, it ain't. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. So we can lie. I found your droid, but he had been destroyed by cap hounds. Lying's bad, right? We should lie. I'm afraid it had to be destroyed. Your droid escaped and is nowhere to be found. He's still out there somewhere. Scully. Uh, could you tell me what happened to him? <laughs> Do not worry, we'll find him. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess we're gonna lie. Found him. He uh, he died to cat hounds. My droid destroyed. The no. rhymes. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. Option three is dark side. Really? Well, shit. It's tabletop game lingo. You need to play more tabletop RPGs. Or. 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 <clears throat> maybe. <laughs> Maybe video games that aren't like literally tabletop RPGs should use non tabletop lingo. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just My me. Droid is All right, so let's try number three then. Your droid escape is nowhere to be found. He's out there somewhere, Scully. He's out there still? I must find him. Oh, is she going to run off and die? That would explain why it's, uh, why it's dark side. Hope you're feeling better. A little bit, yeah. <clears throat> still feel a little shit today. How it are you feeling? It troubles me to see you behaving this way. Such acts can lead to the dark side. Your actions disturb me. Among my kind, those who take pleasure in the suffering of others are considered dangerously unstable. You're right, that was Dark Side. I'm guessing she's going to be dead now then. Alright, see if we can return. Oh, I can only return to the Ethan Hawk. Lame! Lame, 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 lame. Alright, so I guess we're just going to run back there then. Bloody hell, that sucks. It really sucks, Charlie. Save. I'm so surprised the game hasn't crashed yet. It loves crashing. I probably shouldn't tempt it like that. I'm like, ah, surprised are you? Boom, crash. You know, I, like, I get what you're saying about the tabletop RPG thing. I just think, personally, that, um, you know, <laughs> they should probably strive to make the game understandable to people that don't play tabletop RPGs because it's a video game. Like, if you're playing a video game that is literally based on a tabletop RPG, sure. I mean, I mean, it's like, it's a Star Wars RPG. Oh yeah, full speed. Uh, is there a, like a hotkey for that? Left click the mouse to activate a friendly force power. Selected in the fifth icon of the action menu. Some force powers affect only, yeah, okay. Whoop! Okay. I have a complaint. One up with the vision, because good lord, that is ugly. This is like what video games look like on CRT televisions 20 years ago. Pretty blurry. Pretty goddamn blurry. I'm just trying not to look at the screen right now. Use key number four for the friendly powers. Alright, thank you. Lasts a while. Yeah, I don't know why it does that like distorted vision thing. It's that's like real crappy. Four speed is elven speed, Calibrim boy. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, let's do it again. Suck it. Is this... Are we going the right way? Did you wake me up? Did you bring me here? I don't know where I am. Shit, bollocks. No! Go away! Alright, hang on. Let me go back out here and double check. I... Sure? I guess I'm going the right way? I don't know. The frames get worse with higher lo Really? What, what am I stuck on? Like what? I think I'm wedged between the two characters. What can I do? Wow, that was annoying. The frames get worse with high levels and speed, sadly. It's trying and failing to represent moving and, and blur. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. Old games! Just kind of have to deal with this shit, unfortunately. I think it's worth the trade-off, but man, does it look like shit when you're running. <laughs> Get clobbered. I don't think that one's aggroed. Let's go, people. We've got things to do. Okay, so we're trying to... I guess we still need to go south? Sure. Zwing. 
You're gonna say you don't remember it being that bad. Jason, you do want to continue moving yourself, okay. Whoa! Ah! Don't worry, we got through it. I think we good? Fantastic. I am the greatest of all time. I am the goat. So, you said there's a cave around here somewhere. Oh my god, so many bloody enemies. Is this a cave? This looks like it could be. Hello? Crystal cave! Apparently so. His enemies are needed for a quest, don't attack them yet though. I think I did that quest. I may be wrong. Maybe I didn't. It's not very crystally for a crystal cave, is it? That looks like a scorpion spider thing. Let's see if we can do a, a force jump. Oh, uh, maybe the roof's too hot, too low or something. I was gonna say too high. That doesn't make any damn sense. What am I looking at here? Whoa! Fucking hell! That sound effect is loud. Jesus. They look more like uh, praying mantis is, I guess. All right. Uh, cover your ears for when. Oh, look, crystals for when this thing dies. Because man, they're loud as shit. Jesus, God! Why are you so loud? You know what, we'll turn the volume down temporarily. Uh, where's sound effects? Down there. Alright, so ever remember, it's like, pretty much in line with the back of the E there. Put it like, way the fuck down for a second. Is it the voices that that's coming under? Maybe that's it. Let's try that. The voice is like, above the L, I guess. See if that works. Fuck it. Obviously, I have to turn them back up, you know. We've got the dual world. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll do that in a sec. Yeah, I think it's the voices. Well, ain't that annoying. Uh, fantastic. I remember having that problem in, like, modern games where they tie the voices to the sound effects. Like, Skyrim does that, for example. And I think Fallout as well. So, like, you know... When your character gets hit in combat or whatever, when they're like, ah, you know, stuff like that. Sounds really fucking loud. But, you know, you can't really turn it down because then you can't hear people talking in, in dialogue. It's weird. So I can destroy the egg. Seems like a thing to do, doesn't it, really? Crystal is found in the remains of the eggs. Wait. I hope that was a good choice. Zoing, zoing. The end of the Mandalorian Raiders quest, they are very tough. Consider them level bosses for a level boss fight. Especially the leader, he is very difficult. You want to be ready for that fight. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, I just highlighted something that said crystal formation. Yeah. Can I like loot this? I've acquired a lightsaber crystal. Ah! Of course. Can I take more? I would like more. Down there. Remains. There's a dead dude. Drew is still burning aloe uh, response package. I keep wanting to say aloe because, you know, whatever that game was called. Horizon Zero Dawn because of that damn game. Eh. Eh. Is there any point in me destroying all these things? There's an awful lot of them. Formation, you've acquired a light tip crystal. Okay, I'm guessing we can only get like one per... I do not know. Crystal was found in the remains of the eggs. Sure. The crystals in this cave are upgrades for your sabers. You want to install those ASAP uh, and be on the lookout for other power crystals in the future. Gotcha. Thank you. Gimme, gimme. Smashing, smashing. Dual will gives one more attack per round, but lower. A uh, one more attack per round, but lowers accuracy. Flurry gives one more attack, but lowers your defense. So your current build is a glass cannon. If you need more defense, use normal attacks or invest in the power attack feat. Thank you. I uh, feel like I knew that it was a glass cannon using Flurry, and then I just kind of never bothered not to use Flurry. Though on certain enemies, specifically, you know, like this tanky boss that we're going to have to fight, or at least he may not be tanky, but like apparently he's deadly. That guy might be a good idea that I just go with regular attacks. Plus, you got to remember, we're not actually wearing armor. We got like some shitty Jedi robes on. Because our actual armor, they're like, nah, bitch. You can't shoot lightning out of your hand when you do that. So, might be a good idea to forsake the lightning in exchange for armor. Or maybe like, can you put armor on in combat? I don't think you can, right? 
don't think you can. Right, smash these goddamn eggs. Because we did get a crystal from, like, one or two of the eggs. Like, why are you not attacking this thing? I'm confused. Hit the bloody egg, man. Hey, we got another one. Hit the egg! Thank you! Christ! Wasn't that hard of a request? Smashy, smashy. I said smashy, smashy! Yeah, it keeps saying items received every time I do it, so... You can also use the force armor power to solve that. Oh, again, we keep forgetting to use our shields. It's another thing I should be doing. Uh, I feel like I probably should destroy the eggs. It seems like we're getting pretty consistently getting stuff from them, and it did say it was a crystal, so... I don't know if it's a lightsaber crystal or... See, so yeah, a crystal has found the remains of the egg. Sure. Probably can't be a bad thing, right? Just get rid of all of them. We've done, we've done almost all of them anyway now. Apparently these ones I can't attack. Alright, sure, whatever. Can I... No, can't attack those ones either. Are there any more things I can attack or loot around here? Doesn't particularly look like it. No, I don't see shit. Alright, cool. We already looted him, but, you know, the loot option still shows up. Force Plague to debuff enemies, I suggest it. It's a dark side power, so it's cheaper to cast, and the debuff is pretty strong. Alright, we'll try and get that next time then, probably. I think that was the one I was looking at, and I was like, ooh, this seems cool. I still want to be able to boomerang my lightsaber. But, you know, one thing at a time, we'll work our way up to that. Actually, let's check our inventory and see... Oh, here we go. Holy crap. Oh, I have a double-bladed lightsaber? Where did I get that? I have no idea. Alright. Uh, crystal blue... What's it do? Doesn't say? Bondar. Crystal with... This crystal was mined on a far-orbit asteroid circling the Alderun... Alderun... Alderun? Alderun? Alderun, right? I don't know. System. It produces a volatile lightsaber beam that pulses on impact. Discharge part. Okay. Crystal green. It just says green. Okay. Ridge. Rubet. Sigil. Sigil. This was costly, but valued addition to a lightsaber. It produces a fiercely bright beam that sears on contact, inflicting great damage. Crystal yellow. Doesn't tell us. Alright. Uh, so we need to get back to an upgrade bench, I guess. Hit X, that's Battle of Saber. <gasps> So she has a double-bladed lightsaber? Because she has a lightsaber equipped. I guess I'll give that to her then. There you go. <gasps> Dude! Jealous! Very jealous. What does it do if I do it on the Wookiee? He doesn't do anything. I'm here. What? Zwing. You suggest Rubat for beginning, it gives you higher damage. Okay. Um, so is there anything else we need to do in the Sandra Grounds here, or should we just teleport back to the Ethan Hawk and then go to the Upgrade Bench? Because I know there was an Upgrade Bench in the Enclave. Uh, so I'm guessing we probably should just go there. Zwing! Suck it! Hey, club it, son! I'm jealous of her yellow double-ended lightsaber. I mean, I got two red ones. I guess that's pretty cool. I mean, she's got a yellow lightsaber. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's like no yellow lightsabers in the movies. She's cheating. There's a bench of the ship. Ah, even better. Um, You know what? It looks like we're done here. I'm going to save, though, just in case, so I can reload if someone's like, no, don't leave yet. Flourish works only with melee weapons. Viral blades, lightsabers. Okay. I want to be in the ship, man. Where's the entrance? Isn't it over here? Get out of the way. Yes, it is. It might be a Darth, but I serve the pun side of the Force. <laughs> <laughs> I like you guys, I never change. So where is the upgrade bench in here? Ah, oh, right there. Lightsaber, let's see if we can figure out how to do this. Yeah, sure. Our crystal. Rubat. I have two of them. Can I put... No, I can't put two Rubats in. Should I put another one of these in as well? 
damage bonus energy 1d6. Like a d6, like a d6. On here, properties stun DC 10, 25% for two rounds. That sounds good, I think. I'm not entirely sure. If you had to choose to be a Jedi Sentinel, or you, if you had chosen to be a Jedi Sentinel, you'd have gotten a yellow crystal. Or you could take the lightsaber from her, remove the crystal, and then add it to your own. Ah. Uh -huh. Have enough crystals to upgrade each of your sabers only. Because yeah. I put Rubat in there. I thought I had two Rubats. Ah, uh, no, I guess I don't. Okay. Yeah, no, I do. Look, it says two. So surely I can put, like, a Bondar in there or something. Assemble that. Then go to... My other lightsaber. Put a Rubat in that bad boy, and then put a Sigil in there. I think that's probably a good idea. I don't know. Let's hope that none of those were negative or anything. Hello, Candorus. Are you jealous? Does it does this make you je does this make you jealous? That's awesome. This is now a ten out of ten game. Like a light show. All right, let's go. Ah, <laughs> you're coming with me, and you as well, I suppose, because you have a lightsaber. That's mostly why. You cannot use two of the same crystal and saber, so which of the others, Bondar or Sigil, is your choice? Gotcha. Well, I mean, we only have one of each, and we got two lightsabers. I will, I will never not enjoy that. Alright, what are we doing now? <laughs> I don't actually know. Bastler, Karth, Candorus, Mandalorian Raiders. I guess this. Oh, fucking hell. Which means we need to go back to where we just were. Oh, I can transit back. Oh, that works. Yeah, yeah, sure. Alright, oh, these, these fuckers need to level up. Order level. Order level. Look at us. What a badass. What a badass, slightly Mexican looking fella. Alright, save. About goddamn time. Save again. Must have all of the backups. Can you afford the strength belt if you sell your mines? Maybe. Let's have a look. Hello, Kratis Yurkal. With some fighting down by the center, I stay ahead. I hope it's not the Mandalorian Raiders acting up again. Or maybe even some forces sponsored by a Suzerka Corp. Shut up about Suzerka Corp. Let's see what you have for sale. So the belt was like five grand or something, I think. Um, yeah, let's have Jack. This thing, 8.5. Bloody hell. The sell list. Oh, God. Uh, I have clothing. <laughs> you will give me... Zero for it. Oh, okay. Jedi robes are only worth 25, huh? This is worth 875. Hmm. Hmm. Don't appear to have much worth anything, do we really? Even a lightsaber only sells for like 200 around here. Crystal is not worth much. Are the crystal is just to change the color of the lightsaber. I'm guessing they are, right? We gotta roll with red. We're a bloody bad guy. Cast blaster. Very blaster. You gotta say it in American way. Blaster. Uh hmm. Yeah, this uh doesn't look good, does it? Navix visor. I'm like not seeing anything here that will even get us remotely close. We are five no six grand off. Well, over six grand. If you wanna be specific. Yeah. 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 Like, even totaling this up in my brain, even if we sell this stuff. I, I'm going to sell the mines. We'll, we'll see what we get after that. I am on the sell list, right? Yes. Thank God for that. Armor reinforcement. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we're not wearing armor right now, but probably a good idea. Fiber blade, yep. Yep. Yeah, we're very... We, not even close. Not even close, sadly. Alright, uh, you will also get other power crystals or color crystals, the middle icon, as the game progresses. If you want a strength build, there are certain items you will want to equip to prevent debuffs. I can get you the list of those if you want, since you chose a guardian build. Um, maybe. Did the stream freeze for anyone else? I do hope not. It shouldn't have done. Right, so we are going to return back, and we're going to try and find these Mandalorian bastards, and hopefully not die 25,000 times. Oh good, a cat hound is just right here. Can I jump on it? No, I cannot. What is it doing? Bastard. Alright, so where did I see the Mandalorians? I thought they were in the Sandral Grounds, or am I wrong about that? 
Let's go see if we can find them. The stream is still working, right? Just to clarify. I'm guessing it is, because no one else said anything, Kaiser. I would say refresh. I don't remember where I stole them. Oh, he's coming back. No, I wanted to jump. Why? Go away. <laughs> you don't waste precious health. Bugger off. I club it, son. Yeah, guys, just using Kaiser, I believe. I don't remember where these Mandalorians were. The zone changed back near the cave. Ah! I think I understand what you mean. Uh, where was the cave? Oh, the cave's over there. Okay, so it's the north entrance. I think. Let's go! This music reminds me of Fable, actually. It really sounds like the um, <clears throat> the music in like the town in Fable. Know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I think it's gonna be this way. Am I ever gonna play Star Wars: The Old Republic? Is that the MMO? If so, uh, hell no. Hell no. Okay. I mean, what I hear, it's probably quite good, but like, eh, it's just... Oh, hey, Jesus. You don't appear to be aggroed yet. Alright, let's jabby-jabby ourselves with a shitty medipack. I don't need another one. I'm here. You sure are. Thank you for that. You are. Ah, oh, interesting. Force shield, burst of speed, force valor. Ah, oh, you got a bunch of stuff, what? don't you? What do I have? Just burst of speed, huh? All right, that's depressing. Uh, really should be using our shields. This is gonna suck. This this is gonna suck. Did you find Juhani? Yeah, I murdered the shit out of her. Drink. Battle stimulant. Shield. Other shield. What can I do? I don't know. Adrenaline yourself. Stamina. Strength. I hear this is a tough fight, so you know, I'm preparing accordingly. She apparently does not seem to have any shields equipped. No, she does not. Why have I not done this? This seems like a really dumb idea. Uh, you can have a Mandalorian melee shield. Another Mandalorian melee shield. And you apparently can have a bunch of this shit, which I also have not equipped to you. Can't equip that. Fair enough. Power belt. I really want to wear that on me, I'm guessing. You have that. Breshik's belt. Our belt. Sure. And you can put on Breshik's belt. What about the Wookiee? Got any armor for you? No. Headpiece? No. Alright, switch out. Put on some armor as well. Alright. Let's try it. Ah, Evening, fellas. So this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble. Oh, yeah, I didn't turn the volume up, did I? I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Take it easy, Darth Amos. Let me turn the sound back up on the voiceovers. I think it was about there. I don't remember. All right, let's do this. Let's start with a concussion grenade and then hope for the best. Holy crap. Go! I'm here. You sure are, lady. You yes. sure are. Yes. Okay, this guy has a name, so I'm guessing this is the leader. Currently getting his ass absolutely handed to him. Can I use the dr No, I can't. Damn it. Damn it all to hell. Well, we've kicked the you shit out of them. Win. So... Seems like it worked out quite nicely. Get wrecked, son. Yoink. May have, like, over-prepared for that. He's got a blue lightsaber and a red lightsaber. Lovely. Verpin Cardio Regulator Sonic Nullifiers. I don't know what any of that means. I drugged up to the eyeballs and then just DPS the shit out of them. Back, 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 back. Alright, there's nothing there. I guess it's the one we looted, I don't know. 
There's the move, bass. God damn you. What the? No, no. Shh, leave it alone. Cat Pound is not hurting anyone. Or anything to find around their ship. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so where do I hand in this quest? Because I don't remember. I just don't remember. Uh, you have met and slain the Mandalorian leader, Sherrick. He liked to collect lightsabers and surely would have taken yours in your head had you not slain him. John would surely like to... Oh, I remember John. Good old John. Wasn't he just like chilling around outside the Enclave? I think he was. Classic John. Oh, Tyler, man. That was brutal. Move, Jedi. Boy. Zwing. Hey, buddy, you jealous? Zwing. Yeah. Hey, other Jedi, guess what you don't have? Two red lightsabers. Zwing. Screw you. Uh, yeah, I think Darth Hamo said he was leaving. Or well, someone said, someone said they were leaving. Yeah, yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think. Did I? Did I imagine it? Yeah, he said, gotta go do homework. Hopefully, if I go as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I tapped out of the game. Ignore that. Didn't crash, don't worry. Whoa! Uh, okay. We're gonna save. Remember the part where I said, don't worry, it didn't crash? Well. Turns out it crashed. So. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Most people recommend going to Tatooine or... Kashik first. Oh, do we actually get to pick where we go next? Interesting. Hello, numbers game. How's it going, man? All right, so uh, I gotta relaunch the game and try and get the the mod to work. So give me a moment. This may take several attempts, and you will actually excuse me. I burped. You won't hear the bing bong because I muted it. But uh, just know for me, this is this is an annoying process. Oh, it looked a little sketchy with all the whiteness. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll work. Just give it a minute. It takes, it takes, oh, it's crashed already. All right, fantastic. It takes its time to get this thing started and actually have the uh, the full screen working. So I have to like keep relaunching it until, and then closing it until it actually works. Hey, there you go, it worked, fantastic. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, click on that. Yes, okay, beautiful. Load game. I know you can't see anything right now. Don't worry. Let me double check. 1341, 1343, autosave. Go ahead, let's load the autosave. I know you can't see, I know you can't hear, don't worry. You're not missing, I'm just loading the game. Don't freak out. All right, right here where John is, fantastic. So let's unmute the game, switch back to full screen. I know you can see that, don't worry. It's all fine. Everything's fine, don't panic. Oh, panic, Mr. Mannering. Okay, move that over there. Beautiful. There you go. Here's the goddamn game. All right, let's go. So John, I believe, was over here. I think it's, yeah, it's this Tosser. Hello, you Tosser. Have you found the Mandalorian Raiders yet? Yes, yes, I have. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Rest here is the reward I in peace. What? That's it, give me more. What? I did not think the Jedi were so greedy. You seem almost Mandalorian. I thank you for what you have done for me, but I have nothing else to give. The Council will hear of your deeds and your greed. That was beneath you. I hope in the future you will strive to be better than this. You are pushing your luck, lady. Oh, a grand. Sweet. Uh, so, Jeremy asks, has anyone watched the new animated Batman movie? What's it called? The answer is I haven't. Uh, I know there's one that came out relatively recently, I think, called, like, the Under the Red Hood, which is about, you know, the Red Hood. I kind of want to watch that one, because apparently that one's really good. Thank What's the new one called? My revenge on those Mandalorian beasts. If only I could have been the one to tear out Sharuk's heart. Ghastly beasts! Batman got them by gaslight. I think I've heard of it, but yeah, no, I haven't seen it. All right, so do we have any more quests here? No, we do not. Cool, I'm going to assume we are done on this planet. I do not know how to leave, though. Um, no idea. So, 
Do I talk to the council? Do I just like get on the Ethan Hawk and get out of here? Like, I don't know. Maybe I talk to the council, that would make sense, right? Oh, what the hell do you want? How can I help? I'll talk about your dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Jack the Ripper, isn't it interesting? What do you think they were doing? I have no idea. It was obviously important. No idea. However. That is why we must investigate this further. I like her, by the way. She's American. Whatever her name is. You know, I, Jennifer Hale. At least I think she is. She sounds like she's doing a weird British accent. Then again, everyone tells me I sound like I'm doing an American Australian accent. So maybe people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Uh, I'm not sure I like the idea of you being in my dreams. Dude, that's completely not how to get into her pants. What you should say is... You're the girl of my dreams every night, baby. And then wink. Like, awkwardly. And then she'd be like, oh, I, he's so dreamy. Do you think we will receive more of these visions? With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance... Isn't Jennifer Hell Canadian? Okay, well, look. So she's from America Junior. Either way. <laughs> Someone's going to get offended by that. But it's okay, because only Canadians can be offended by that, and we all know they're all nice, except playing Rainbow Six yesterday, and one of them was a complete asshole, and I taught him a second asshole. Uh, I wonder if Jason's ever heard of Norio Wakamoto, God of Voice Actors. Nah, if he's in, like, anime and stuff like that, which I'm guessing with a Japanese name, probably is... I very rarely like I watch it in English. I I'm 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 shamelessly a dub person. I do not care. I can't I, it's, I can't abide the reading. It's just too much reading. I don't watch anime to read. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Sure. Let's be rude. I don't like the idea of you being in my dreams, bitch. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? I take offense of being the typical polite stereotype. <laughs> Pretty certain, yes. I see. That is most likely vanity speaking, for I am not certain myself. Regardless, our fates are linked. The vision was no doubt meant for us both. I was joking about America Jr., by the way, just so we're clear. Uh, this, this conversation is going nowhere, lady. Get out of here. As you wish. You really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Yes, classic thoughts. All right, so. Where are we going? Oh, that's right, back to the council. We'll see what they say. You shouldn't read anime, that's what hentai dushin, dushi, dush, dushijins are for? Like, I don't even know what that means, but it sounds perverted. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Zwing. Yeah, I can't get into, like, friggin' uh, hentai. Anyway, like, I couldn't oh, ever want to. You have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? No, I couldn't find anything. What are you talking about? The council must be told Shh. of what we found there. We found an Why did I bring star you? map, Master Vandar. And an ancient droid that mentions something about a Starforge. This news of a Starforge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Starforge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. I wonder. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an I'm effort for to, them to shut the up. nature of this Starforge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Starforge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Starforge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map 
is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashik, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. Okay, so what I was going to say was, I wonder if I didn't have Bastler with me, and I said, oh, I didn't find anything there, because, you know, Bastler's there, was there, and she's like, a goody goody, blah, blah, blah. If we don't have her with us in the party when we go speak to Discount Yoda and, you know, the rest of the misfits, maybe there won't be anyone to, you know, say, oh, you lying bastard, we found the Star Forge, or the map, or whatever. So, yeah... Then your pet Wookiee would have spoken up, maybe. Maybe, but like what I'm saying is maybe we could switch out both of them and then just, you know, so th there was no one there with a witness. Maybe. I'm, I'm interested. To, I might reload the game. Like, well, I'll save it and then I might like reload the older save and see, uh, see what happens, see if it's any different. Uh, since you asked, it's pronounced Do Jin Shi. Okay, gotcha. Bring the droid. Yeah, exactly. That little fucker ain't gonna lie. Uh, it, you know, they won't be able to understand him. I'll try, like, the droid in Candorous or something. I don't know if it will work, but I just want to see if it does. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Ever brash, ever disrespectful, this is what we have pinned our hopes yes, on. Yes, yes, this. Peace, Brook. We have discussed this. There is no yeah, Shut choice. your bitch the mouth up. have been ravaged by this war. Rook. By defections to Malak's cause and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Good. Others are only going to slow me down. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Well, I don't need Master help. Will accompany no! You, for there is a powerful connection between you two. I don't like her. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. Keep the example of Johanni fresh in your mind. You may need a reminder of the dangers of the path that leads to the dark side. Great Bassler again. Anyone else you want me to... Wait, damn it. Anyone else you want to stick with me? Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. They possess skills you may find useful skills? in the quest. Mm. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature <laughs> of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. I like the idea <laughs> that he's like, you're not going to be able to hide the fact that you're a Jedi. And me, I'm going to be running around whipping out my dual lightsabers going zwing everywhere as I run past everybody. I don't think I'm going to be much for hiding that, to be perfectly honest with you. You can me I will not fail. When do I leave? Why should I risk my life to stop Malak? Yeah. This was already explained to you. Your command of the Force makes you a threat to Malak. Eventually, he will destroy you, and all the Jedi, unless you stop him first. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner, the better. You dick. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. She wants to get rid of me. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I'm aware. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all-too-familiar path. The fate of the galaxy... Is in your hands, he does look kind of like a prune. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the force be with you. He looks like he would be delicious. Dark side points gained. Hooray! All right, swing. Let's quickly make a save and then reload the older save. And then uh, I want to see if switching out these motherfuckers will have any different effect. It was two minutes ago. Is this before I spoke to them? I do not know. Please do not crash game. Appreciate it. Was this before we handed in the quest to John? Let's have a look. No, it was afterwards, apparently. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, okay. Go hand in this quest real quick. Just skip over the dialogue. Hello, John. Good day to your face. Oh, wait, well, you're not John. You're even the right color. My bad. Yeah, 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 shut up. Have you found uh, yes. Reward. Fantastic. Okay. Go away. Right, so let's return to the Ethan Hawk. 
and then switch out. We'll get like Droid Buddy and Candorous or whatever. And so I just really want to see if they if they say anything different. I'm really interested to see if that's a viable tech. Get the bloody droid! My god, that's annoying. Why do they put that right there so you have to turn right into the thing and get body blocked when you want to try and go back on the bloody ship? Why am I healing? Oh, that's right, because we're on the thing. Okay, so how do I switch? I guess when we leave, it switches them, I think. Or we'll gives you the chance. Yeah, okay. So we'll take you and we'll take droid buddy. If that works. Actually, I could maybe take no one. Hang on, let's see if that's a viable option. Because you don't... Because at some point I accidentally left, um... This fella behind, right? Like, okay. Less than three people. Yeah, so let's try going there on our own. See if this works. Because now there's no one to hand me in. Hey, buddy. I'm going to show off again. Suck it. You suck. Wait, who's half a Darth Maul? Why was this game blatant with the reveal? How didn't people pick up on that in five seconds? Wait, what reveal? <laughs> Did I miss this obvious reveal? I keep going the wrong way. This will happen all of the time. But hey, we get to flick our lightsabers around, so that's a thing. I... Alright, just look at the map. Uh, I was going the right... Bloody hell! God damn it. It is through here, isn't it? Yes! Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I see the little, little discount, dude. Oh, you have returned yeah, 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 all right. Can't skip it, god damn it. You discovered what it was that Revan and... Okay, no. Lies. Bastilla has already told us about this Star Forge and the map you found. Bitch! Master Rue. I'm certain the Padawan only meant they had not found anything beyond what Bastila would surely have told us. This news of a Star Forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light. We return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon uh, Padawan. Uh, you discovering the Star. Uh, Ah, uh, what a bitch. All right, let's load the game. What did, was it this one? I think it was this one. That sucks. That sucks. Like, why even ask me the question then? What did you find? Uh, nothing. Oh, uh, Bastila told us she found something. Why the fuck did you ask then? Because apparently you already knew the answer. Bastards. What do you want, lady? No, go away. Is this... Am I... Which file do I need? I'm confused. Eh? That one's fucked. 3054. That's the one, okay. There we go. Alright, hang on. What are we talking about? I, I'm still... I'm, I'm still a little confused what this, like, uh... It's, uh, what, what the hell? Hang on, hang on, hang on. The reveal thing. Apparently I already know this, but I'm still a little unsure <laughs> what we're talking about. Right, so I guess we can leave now. Sounds like it. Do we have a thing? Yeah, here we go. The Jedi Council instructed you to seek out the ancient star map scattered across the galaxy in the hopes of uncovering the location of the mysterious Star Forge, as Revan and Malak did before you. So we have four options. I think I remember the two planets that people said were probably the ones to go to first. But let's get back to the Ethan Hawk before we do anything else. Uh, where, where the hell do I go? How do I leave this place? I think it's this way. I think I was going the right way. Also, was I the only one that was watching the Star Wars prequels? And I friggin' knew which, di which guy was Palpatine like the second I saw him. Like the second he showed up on screen, I was like... That's Palpatine. Don't worry about it, just go on the mission. Alright, gotcha. I think... Apparently I already know what this, this reveal is. I don't want a word if I may. There are many rumors about your most recent meeting with the Jedi Council. There is talk that they are sending you on a mission to help us against Malak and the Sith. I gotta read that real quick, because sometimes that stuff goes off the screen very fast. How do you know the Council gave me a mission? I don't think the Council would want me to speak openly of this mission. My discussions with the Council are none of your business. 
Please understand that I'm not asking you to rule anything that you could endanger the order of the Republic. Whatever task the Council has given you is for your ears, not mine. I only want to wish you well, and to warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the dark side. I can look after myself. But, what are you talking about? Master Doric has been training uh, me to succeed him as chronicler here in the academy. In my studies, I've come across tales of creatures that are born of the dark side, monsters of pure evil. The worst of these abominations is the Terran Tatek, a beast that feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the Force. Over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen to their ravenous hunger. What makes it so dangerous? The Ten Terra, the Dave, is a predator, and we Jedi are its prey. They are incredibly strong, with a primal cunning, and they have an inborn resistance to the Force. There are some who believe the Dave is a monster bred by the ancient Sith and spread throughout the galaxy to destroy the galaxy. Jesus Christ, the Sith! Uh, fortunately, the Terra Dave is quite rare. They only dwell in the most dangerous and darkest of places. In fact, one has not been seen for nearly 40 years. God, it goes so fast sometimes. Then why are you worried about them? It's not the first time the Terra Dave has vanished for long periods of time. Many believe they lay dormant for years, only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. I fear Malak's rise may have woken these creatures from their dormant state once the Sith are beaten. I would not be surprised if the Council organized another great hunt to try and exterminate them. What's this great hunt? The great hunt was organized by the Jedi Council shortly after the war against Exar Khan. Jedi was scattered throughout the galaxy, helping them rebuild from devastation. Unite all peoples within our nation. Uh, many Jedi have vanished during this period, disappearing from a variety of worlds without warning. We did not know they had been slain until their mutilated bodies had been begun to be discovered. The Council investigated and discovered Terra Dave were being were behind the killings. It was decided the galaxy had to be purged of these insatiable monsters, though the cost proved higher. So the Jedi killed them. The Terror Dave are the abominations. They are ruthless engines of death and destruction. The Council had no choice but to destroy them for the greater good of the galaxy. Many Jedi band together and journeyed to the planets uh, that were suspected of harboring the Terror Dave. Great Hunt did not rest until all the creatures had been slain, or almost all. There were still rumors of Terra Dave on the planet of Korriban, a dark world some believed to be the birthplace of the Sith. This is where Exar Khan was corrupted during the First Sith War. They were never, they never went to Korriban. The Council, fearing more Jedi might fall to the dark side, declared the Great Hunt was officially over. The so three Jedi were appointed to continue the work. Fucking Christ, this is a lot of reading. Good God, I feel like I'm going through the Lord of the Rings right now. The Terra... The Terran Tatek. Why is it so hard for me to say? Terran Tatek. Terran Tatek. Were also called Jedi killers. Even masters would be afraid of it. Very, very afraid. Go. Cool. Okay. Terran Tatek. So what's special about those three? The Jedi chose to continue their hunt for on their own were wait on their own were wait the Jedi who chose to continue their hunt on their own were Jeronquil, Dave, Gunhan, Suresh, and Sh I can't fucking the Council felt that together they would be able to defeat the Terran Tatek. They found out by supporting each other they could resist temptations of Korriban and lure them to the dark side. Oh shit! But none of the three survived. Their master felt them become one with the Force uh, when they left this world. He believed they were slain by one of the monsters they sought. The Council felt it was too dangerous to send anyone else in search of their remains, so their exact fate is not known. But let their deaths serve as a warning to you, Padawan. Fucking Christ. I can't waste time listening to your goddamn fables. The final warning as you go, Padawan, do not underestimate the Terran Tatek. If you do, you may suffer the same fate as those who disappeared after the Great Hunt. Good bloody lord. That was kind of interesting from a lore perspective, but man was that guy long-winded. Oh shit. Alright, to the Ethan Hawk, everyone. What do you bloody want? How can I help? Fuck off, that's how you can help. What do you want? I do. How did you know? Because the game told me. Well, you keep staring at me. Seeing a thing you like, baby. You are Take easy, easy the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever met. I know. Besides, I know you can't be serious, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction. I exactly. That's why I know you like me. I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you. She does like me. But why? I've been such a bastard. 
You're so cute when you're embarrassed. I, that is, you, why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I'm really talking about. We're gonna really get up in that ass and turn her to the dark the side. Us, the one the Jedi Council Giggity. spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels. And what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you and for everyone around you. I guess we're gonna go with a sarcastic response. You could warn me when I do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twice for light. This is not a joke. It is. The choices you make could affect both our destinies. Not to mention the fate of the Republic and the entire galaxy. There is much at stake. Already you exhibit the kind of willfulness, erratic behavior, and lack of compassion that will lead you to corruption. We must all and yet you like me. the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. You like bad boys. This is doubly important for you your natural affinity for the force try putting a leather jacket will that turn you on even more why are you getting so upset is it because you like me i'm sorry if i come across as harsh but i am concerned for you for our mission and for myself as well our destinies are we have a person called mission everything one of us does will have consequences for the other any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well Okay. I don't know if we can romance this woman, right? I don't know. But I would like to, and then turn her to the dark side if that's possible. I don't know if this is. So I don't know if I should just be a straight dick to her, or if I should try and, you know, kind of woo her, and then be a dick anyway, you know? I don't know. You know, the Valley of the Kings in Egypt, Korriban is basically that, a planet rendered uninhabitable by generations of Sith, alive with the power of the dark side. Full of ancient secrets, deadly predators, and a spawn of horrors that have afflicted the galaxy for millennia. In essence, a nest of evil. Interesting. Alright, so... Uh, since no one's telling me how I romance this woman, or whether I should even try, I'm gonna go with my gut instinct here. My gut instinct is that we should try. Thusly, I'm gonna say, you could help me stay strong. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. Yeah, okay, now she's talking specifically about light, so I'm gonna say I don't need your help. No, of course not. Not yet. But there will be challenges ahead that might make it otherwise. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark Just moments. turn to the dark side, goddammit. we should return to our mission. All I want. Just, just, just be evil like me, and then we can get along just famously. Alright, up we get. Take notes on Jason's patented wooing techniques. I mean, it works. Alright, uh, hello, Candorus. It's awkward the way you stand there. How do I pilot the Ethan Hawk? Do you know how? Yeah, what do you want? How do I pilot this thing? No idea. Your do I do it from the map? No. Okay, hang on. We are here. Whoop hanger. Exit ramp. Crew quarters. Engine room. Cargo hold. Crew quarters. Cockpit. Probably go to the cockpit. Uh, that's a war. How do I leave this room? It's like a maze. Go oh, hang on. Go left, go left. Yes, and then this way. Hey, there's a little droidy dude. One up. Is this the cockpit? Yes, it is. Okay. We're gonna try going this way. Hello, Bastila. This is the galaxy map. The Ethan Hawks onboard navigational computer. When you are ready to leave Dantooine, you can use the galaxy map to travel to other planets around the galaxy. Of course. The destination is still stored in the Ethan Hawks computer from the last trip to da trip Davik made with him. Mm hmm. How do I change planets? Like, what do I click on here? I'm confused. What do I click on? 
Nothing seems to be... Ch what? Mouse wheel? Nope. Hmm. Does anyone know how I changed the planet? I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, okay. Stay there. It seems like that's the only thing I can interact with around here. Other than, you know, Karth and Bastila. But I doubt they're going to be much help. What am I doing wrong here? How do I... Do I click? Do I click? Oh, there you go. Little tiny blobs. Okay, gotcha. So we got Yavin, Kashik, Horriban, Tatooine, Manan, Dantooine, which is where we are. So I can't remember which planet people said to go to next. I think it was Tatooine or or no, I think it was I think it was Kashik or Tatooine. They said. I think I know Kashik was one of them. This is where the Wookiees are. Oh, fuck yeah, we're going Wookiee land. Do it. I just realized that means I'm gonna do a lot of reading. Because we're gonna be like, no, no. It sounded more like Pingu. Was that, his, was that his name? The penguin made of clay? I think it was Pingu. Manan has deep water. Hooray! Do 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 do. Manan Manan. Do 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 do. Manan Manan. Do 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 do. Do 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 Malik? Or is that Revan? I don't know which one it is. I'm gonna Lord go with Malik. The Star Forge is I'm awesome. at two hundred percent capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. I told you he was going to be alive. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Apparently. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is worth He's really short sure compared to Malak. are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me. There is something else. May we have a private audience? Yeah, I guess Malak's just bloody huge. Soldiers. I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Bum, bum, bum. God, my guy looks like shit. Like, straight up looks like shit. Also very Fable-like in the fact that the more evil you are, the more evil you look. Got Fable music. And fable grayness in my face. And it's just sci-fi fable. Actually, fable very came after this. Maybe fable is just fantasy Star Wars. Fish aliens, nice. Well, we'll deal with the uh, furry planet first, and we might go to uh, the fish place afterwards. Uh, that's a good stretch. Whew. Like a glim. Force has given us a, a vision like the one we shared on Dantooine. Oh. A vision like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong. It took so long I thought I had to read it. is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. You think the Wookiees are involved? 
The Wookiees of Kashyyyk make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay, so let me get this straight. Wookiees live in trees. The bottom of the forest they never go to. Interesting. Weird choice, but interesting. Uh, now how do I leave this hellhole? What do you want? Oh, you're a Wookiee, of course. I was checking our supplies in the cargo hold. Something's not right. What do you mean? Someone's been into the emergency stash of food mission and I asked everyone, but nobody knows anything about it. You might want to check out the food stores next time you're in the cargo hold. Someone's been robbing our goddamn food? What the hell? Apparently it's not a quest, though. Weird. Very weird. Alright, yeah, well, let's go to the cargo hold, which is... Straight ahead, I think? No? This way, okay. God, this is maze-like. Uh, in here... Yes. Let's have a look. Strangely, the food story seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this, and there must be some other explanation. Examine more closely. There's also no half-eaten or torn packages to indicate their theft was from pests or vermin. Looks like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids on your stores. Wherever the thief is, they have managed to avoid detection by you and your companions so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship will reveal the stowaway. Someone is on my ship eating my goddamn food. Really now? Are they hiding in one of these, perhaps? Thorough search of the ship. Hmm. Very interesting. Is this a quest now? Okay, now it is. Hmm. Let's think logically here, alright? Where would I be? Eng I'd be in the engine room. Let's look in the engine room. You think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you, but when you stop to listen, they disappear. Oh, is it leading? Okay, so it's telling me the direction, I'm guessing. Let's try that. Still behind me. Okay. So... Probably want to go to the crew quarters then. Let's try that as a theory. Hello, Madhouse. What about this way? Hmm? Hmm? No? Nothing? Not a damn thing? Really? Okay. Okay. I don't know if this is one of those situations where it's almost like I have to corner them or something. Okay, now... Hmm. I wonder if it's going to still pop up every time we go in the same place. No. Right, okay. So we went here, so it was behind us. We went this way, so it was behind us. I guess we just keep going? Go over here? Yeah. What's this behind you? Okay. Huh. Hello, mission. Thanks for the help, bitch. Really? You're stuck on the floor? What are you doing? Okay, we keep hearing footsteps, but it's always behind us. Exit the Ethan Hawk, it seems like a bad idea. Josh, thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. You're very kind. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Look like at a little tiny side room here. Ah! What the hell? Wait, is this person invisible? Is that it? That's it, isn't it? That's what I'm getting stuck on. I think I'm getting stuck on an invisible dude. I think that's it, you know? I am. Where are you, little shit? How do I find them? Dude, I swear that's it. I swear I'm getting stuck on invisible people. Look, I'm like full on stuck here. Where'd they go? Shit. Or the game's just really janky. That's also possible. But my theory is they are invisible. You hear the echo footsteps coming from the direction of the cargo hold. Ah. Okay. Check the cargo hold, the storage area. Yeah. Well, that's where we're supposed to be going. Yeah, okay. I, has that been coming up on the screen the whole time? 
Where the hell am I going? This is not the cargo hold. How do I keep going away from the cargo hold? Holy shit, my sense of direction. Jesus Christ. I think we found him. Save! Let's make a backup save. Okay, they're not invisible, the game is just janky. Or maybe they can turn invisible. I don't know! Kipuna! Bonana Kichu! Oh no, it's something, something. What the hell are you doing here? Selima Wanga Kunbikin! I'll read that. I understand what the hell you're saying. You... I still don't understand. He frowns and looks at you helplessly. Um... Can you tell me your name? Why would I know these names? Who are these people? Looks at you oddly puzzled. Points to yourself. My name is Darth Sito. Who the hell are you? The girl points to herself. Waba Sush... Sasha, I guess the name Sasha. I mean, we could see that anyway. So your name's Sasha. She nods. Okay, you can stop saying that every time. It's weird. How did you get on my goddamn ship? Looks at you quizzically, not understanding. Does the name Lure Arca ring a bell? What about Rundil or Sulem? Not understanding. Okay. Where are you from? Taris? Doesn't understand. Let's try to learn her strange language. I think you're speaking Mandalorian? Mandalori... That's your word for Mandalorian, so you do know of them. Oh, she doesn't like them. Mandalorians are bad? Fucking okay, what? Are you a Mandalorian child? Okay, I think she's saying I'm Sasha, not Mandalorian. So you're a human, you learn the words from somewhere else, though. Girl obviously doesn't understand. Shit. Uh, Alright, let's try and learn a stupid language. Lace for everything is safe, is that it? Points towards one of the Ethan Hawke service panels. Panels, that's what Lisa means. You sleep there? Don't Looks puzzled. Damn it! I don't understand. What well, that was Bristack. What's it? God damn it, I didn't mean to do that! Bristack, it means starship? What the hell does this mean? Your Issa one. I see you or you see me. The girl hides her face behind her hands for a moment. You're hiding. So, na, Issa one means hide. I don't get all of this, but sure. Say something else. You're not helping me here, lady. Everything's safe, is that it? Service panel. Okay, the panel. Looks puzzled. Bloody hell. Fucking Christ, you are confusing as shit, lady. You sleep there? I already went through this. Yeah, she said she's puzzled. The starship, you mean home? The ship is your home? Go smiles. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Yeah, I know we could probably ask uh, Candorus. I might in a minute, but I'm trying to do this on my own. Uh, you're hiding in the starship. It's your home, I understand. Sure. You've said that before. What is gone decent? Points at you. Something about me, but what? Mars and Panzer Chest. It's something like, yes, Gondusha means you like it? You like me? Selima Wanga Kunbikin. Nah, abs. You said that when I first found you. Kipuna, bona na kichu. He slaps her leg. It means hit. Is that it? Kipuna. He frowns bona and slaps her leg. I don't understand. Si okay, hang on. Kip Very bad. Kipuna, bon no, that's not either. All right, hang on. It means hit. Kipuna, bona na he hits kichu. her leg again. 
Okay, so abs is to hurt. Not abs means not hurt. Is that it? Donkey, but non tontek. I understand. No, I won't hurt you. Donkey, but non tontek. Yeah, what kind of word is that? The old one for fucking wait Oops. there. I'm gonna get bloody cannerous. Do I want her to leave my ship or not? I don't know if it's a good idea. You can stay over now. Stay there. All right, didn't give us the light side. Okay, so, Candorus. I'm gonna need some help here, man. Yeah, what do you want? Fucking really? I can't, I can't, I can't even mention this girl to you. Oh, oh, it's right there, never mind. Can you help me with that little stowaway problem? What? You think I don't have something better to I do? I think that, yes. Really? You're not gonna... You motherfucker. Yeah, what do you want? What? Okay, apparently he just has no interest in that. Well, what a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. Alright, well, we've made some progress with this girl. Name Sasha, blah, blah, blah. How'd you get on the ship? Yeah. See, so you quizzically, she doesn't understand. God damn it, we have to learn a language. Yeah, what kind of word is that? Dong abuk shami no no. It's part of the ship. Selima wanga kun Chew to bite. She wants food. I'm guessing. Donkey, but I'm guessing she's Don hungry. I don't know. You want something from elsewhere? You mean food, don't you? Yum is food. Selima wanga kun Is that all one phrase? Kipona, bona na kichu. The floor. You mean floor? You're talking down? Kipona. Bonanakichu. That could be anything, I don't get it. Donkey, but Okay, one phrase it has to be floor then, I guess. Kipuna, bonanakichu. You're not speaking now new <sighs> Gis means now. No new gis is not now or before. What? Kipuna, bonanakichu. You want some food now, you're hungry. I mean I got that part ages ago. I don't know it took my character that bloody long. Donkey ba non tontek. Taped you? What do you mean? Selima go point to her mouth. I don't understand. Point to her mouth. You want me to tell you a story? I'm supposed to talk, try to speak. What about? Point to you. Tell me about. She wants me to tell her about me, I think? You want to know about me? Yeah. There you go. Communicate with her in her language. There is someone there who will take you home. Lu Arka Kesta Wan Yu Lacefa. Sure. Why hide my ship? Dashin Esther Wan in Bristag. Okay, I've got to go pick one of these options. Uh, this one. Selima Wanga Kun you came to the ship before, you were very scared. Why? You left the Mandalorians and hid here on my ship. You don't want to leave, the Ethan Hawk is your home. Why are you scared of the Mandalorians? Who too badly has Mandalori? You sleep here on the ship, you okay? Um, what happened with the Mandalorians? They took you before and hurt you. She really is saying like three different things. Mandalorian ship wasn't home, you didn't like it. Huh. Okay. Try number two. So, you understand she must have been sleeping in the ship's repair ducts. Stuff. Sure. This one? Kipuna. Didn't we already go with that? They took it before and hurt Selima you? Wang. Mandalorian ship was home, alright, didn't like it. Okay, yeah, let's go with uh, this is not your first home. Dong abuk sham. Tell me about your home before, blah blah blah. The girl thinks for a long moment, Dantuin, Dantuin. There is someone there who will take you home. Dantuin, maybe someone in Dantuin remembers you? Obviously doesn't understand. Fucking really? 
After considerable effort, you have managed to communicate with a young stowaway whose name appears to be Sasha and learn what she was doing aboard the ship. Apparently, she was once held by the Mandalorians long enough to learn their speech, but nothing else. And she escaped from them long enough to stow away on the Ethan Hawk and Hyde. Her original home seems to be Dantooine. Perhaps someone there could be of help. Cool. We did that. That took absolutely fucking forever. Good lord. Alright, well anyway. It's a bit of a short stream than usual, but it is the usual time that we end the stream. I did start a little bit late. So we've been going for about two hours or so. So we are going to end the stream here. We may go back to Dantooine. I oh, see. I want to do like the dark side thing. Maybe I can like, can I kill her? Can I like, you know, hand her into the Mandalorians or something? That would be kind of funny. I'm guessing there's something like that we can do, right? Surely there's going to be some kind of dark side outcome to this. But again, it seems like we probably have to go through the quest before we get to that point. Because right now, this is just we're communicating with a, a friggin' child that speaks like a weird amalgamation of Mandalorian and like nothing else really. I don't know. And friggin. Candorous, whatever his damn name is, faster wouldn't help me. Useless git. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will not be streaming tomorrow. I'll go work tomorrow. Next stream will most likely, therefore, be Thursday. Other than that, I'll see you Thursday. Thank you, everybody. It has been a pleasure. Good night, everyone. And goodbye. Boop. Alrighty, thank you, everybody, for watching. And especially thank you to this month's $10 plus tier patrons who are as follows Don Lobo, KB, I'll be jiggered. Miss Justice 83, Joey, Billy Nying, Waffle Ball, Dr. Pepper Penguin, Nuria Age, Bad Beauty, Bebop 56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, and Hitbox. And of course, thank you to this month's Twitch subscribers, as well as the $5 plus tier patrons who should be on the screen at any moment, and everybody who has donated or become a patron in any of the tiers whatsoever. I'd love to list you all on screen, but good lord. We're running out of space, which ain't a bad thing. Thank you, everybody, for the support. I could not do this without you. You guys are awesome. I really, really, truly do appreciate it. If you would like to become a patron yourself, you can do so over at patreon.com slash LP. Thank you once again, everyone, and good night.